What's up, peers, and welcome to the World Crypto Network. Look at this. We have a novel in all its glory, all its separate parts. Of course, usually you can get that at novel.it and you can go to the store and get this box pre-compiled or pre-configured in the hardware itself. But today we are going to look at each of the components of this magnificent Bitcoin full node and lightning node and BTC pay server self-hosted device. Uh, a dedicated always on Bitcoin personal assistant and financial battle station. Uh, so this is truly a really unique and cool device that I'm very glad uh, that we can further discuss how it works. So back to the real thing right here. Uh, first, of course, is the mothership itself. Uh, what we have right here is the ROC64 board, uh, which is compared to, for example, the Raspberry Pi, same in size, right? But this one here it packs much more of a punch. Uh, the CPU is a bit better. This is a quad-core uh, CPU. But that is not really important. Uh, that is not really the bottleneck, more to say. Uh, really what is important is the RAM. And here the ROC64 shines with a 4 gigabyte uh, of Type 3 RAM. And that is really useful uh, in, so that you can uh, verify the Bitcoin blockchain uh, very fast and very efficient. And further, this board specifically here has a USB Type uh, 3 connection to which you can connect the SSD board, which is perfect, again, for faster sync and making sure that you are up and running uh, with no time. Connected with that, we have, because this box allows for it, a rather big SSD board, right? Where you can connect a, for example, Samsung SSD that relies on a SATA connector, right? Uh, we can easily put this here under this board and then connect with the USB Type 3 directly to the ROC64 board. And this connection then here uh, from the SATA board to the motherboard uh, can be done with different, uh, with different cables. Uh, for the initial sync, it is very much advised to use the USB Type 3 cable. Right, because these ports allow for this. Uh, but of course, that is going to be a, a big cable uh, stuck uh, in both sides of the, uh, in the device. It's not going to look pretty, but it is going to help to speed up the very first sync. However, then once you are uh, done after the sync in roughly 40 hours, uh, you can get uh, this little uh, WSP plug uh, easily here inserted uh, so that you can uh, have a nice looking device uh, without any uh, major cables uh, flying around other than the ethernet and the power cable. So that is really nice. Um, for though this SSD board is used for the power supply. So you are actually going to power the entire model here uh, on this SSD board. And that is going to also be linked to the power button, which is housed right in here uh, in the bottom part uh, so this cable can connect to the power but or to this inlet right here and of course then every time you click the very clicky button with the blue LED uh, the power is going to be applied to this device further you can connect the fan right here uh, and make sure that the CPU is cool uh, so also just here a little a power cable that can be connected uh, to the to the uh, power supply here as well. And of course, you are going to need to power the motherboard itself. And that is going to be done with this little device. Uh, I highly suggest that you go to the noddle.it slash start webpage, which is linked down below, uh, where there are detailed pictures of all this. Uh, but basically, you connect uh, from this to here uh, in a nice, uh, uh, skipping the first pin uh, and applying here only the second two pins. But again, a look at the detailed picture, uh, much easier to show than here on the web, uh, webcam. Further then though, uh, we have this little USB port right here. And the cool thing is that this is not transmitting any data, 
okay? This is a power only USB uh, device. And that is, that is perfect because you can power something without allowing it to transmit any data. And that is very useful, especially because on the ROG64 board, we have on the back side right here, a micro SD card slot. So you can insert your micro SD card right in the top, uh, in the front right here of the nozzle. Uh, and that is really nice because you can then, for example, use the included really, really short cable to connect, oh yes, the cold card with the power only uh, USB here. So it's not going to power any, uh, it's not going to transmit data. And then transfer the SD card uh, with the partially signed Bitcoin transaction from your really secure cold card wallet to your really secure but public Bitcoin node from which you then can uh, trans uh, or broadcast the transaction in the most private and secure way. Uh, so the nozzle is tailor-made to work in conjunction with deep, deep cold storage and partially signed Bitcoin transaction here with this little SD card slot, which is perfect. And Piers, that is pretty much it. That is the Noddle and all its features. Uh, I, I really like, of course, that the extra RAM here makes the initial sync very, very fast uh, compared to other devices. Uh, and of course, that it can run several things all at once. It's not just a Bitcoin full node. It's not just a lightning full node, right? It can be managed with your mobile phone in conjunction, right, with SAP, uh, or it can be used uh, with your computer terminal with something like the, right, the Lightning application, which goes really in depth. And of course, you can host your own BTC pay server, which is again resource intensive, but this board can handle it. Really cool. So you can host your own uh, website shop, uh, which is beautiful and uh, just fantastic. I also like the uh, always on feature uh, or the automatic uh, returning to on feature. Uh, that is just another resiliency feature uh, when you just want to plug this device in and forget about it. Uh, and of course, the cold card integration with the USB only and micro SD card slot is perfect. Uh, and I think it, it just comes all together. All the parts really fit together well. It, it works. It's plug and play. It's simple. And that's, that's why it's so beautiful. And I think the Nod really is one of these devices uh, that is worth checking out. Uh, so Piers, Piers, thank you very much uh, for joining me here again. Uh, and check out the Nod. It is worth it. Uh, and if you, if you like this video, leave a like. Uh, thank you very much. And see you on the next show. Bye-bye.